Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm, guys, and I appreciate it. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got first game up. Fenway Park, AL East battle here between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. Cooper Criswell on the hill for the Sox. Yariel Rodriguez going for the Jays. No number out as I'm doing this in the overnights right now, guys. I was waiting for it. The Blue Jays just won 7-3 to three in game one, meaning the Red Sox on a major losing streak here. They were swept by the Diamondbacks coming into the series. And the Blue Jays playing really good baseball right now. They just swept the Angels, then winning game one. They got Rodriguez on the hill, the 27-year-old Cuban rookie. Up and down season so far. But really the story here, guys, and why I was waiting for the number is – Looking to fade Criswell, the, the the Sox starter. I mean, 28-year-old out of UNC, kind of starter, reliever. In his last eight innings, giving up nine earned. A couple of things I was reading. Uh, I don't think he's going to last too long here. So I think the Jays lineup gets after him. This Jays lineup has been uh, actually the hottest in baseball over the last two weeks, playing obviously good baseball, winning five straight. So we're jumping on the Jays over the Red Sox. Anything, uh, hey, not, not too pricey, which I don't think we will. But uh, yeah, yeah, anything uh, maybe under a dollar and a quarter, minus 130, something like that. Anything under that. We're on the Jays over the Sox. Hate to start it off with a game we don't have a number on, but the, the, the rest of them we do as we head to St. Louis up next, guys, 745 Eastern. We got the San Diego Padres and the St. Louis Cardinals. Game two of the series, Dylan Cease going for the Friars. Miles Mikolas going for the Redbirds. Eight being the total. Minus a dollar and a quarter. That is the pods as the road favorite. We like betting on Dylan Cease. Last time out, not a great start, but uh, it's not going to keep us off of him. The numbers since July 10th speak for themselves. 1.58 ERA. He's 5-2 since mid-July. So, uh, I mean, add that on to 193 strikeouts and 154 innings. He's been a workhorse. Just 111 hits in those 154 innings. With all those strikeouts, he's bet on for us. Nicholas, the 36-year-old out of Nova Southeastern, 5-plus ERA on the season. Last time out, six innings, zero earned against the Brewers. A good start, but the three starts before that, he was rocked around. Bunch of hits, 14 earned given up. So I think this Padres lineup gets after him. Remember, they're number two against righties. They're getting Nicholas here. He's not dominating. So uh, it's the Padres, guys. Minus a dollar and a quarter. Think it's short. Padres over the Cardinals. 840 Eastern as we head a mile high here. Colorado Rockies, Miami Marlins battle in 1993 expansion MLB teams. Rodri Munoz on the hill for the fish. Cal Quantrill going for the rocks. Minus 140 to as high as minus 150. That's Colorado as the home favorite. Total of 11. Munoz up first here for the fish. 28-year-old Dominican-born pitcher. He's a rookie. He's never pitched in Colorado, so uh, that's kind of a fade spot. You add on the fact he's got a 6 ERA, a 7 FIP. Um, he hasn't made it out of the fourth inning in his last two starts, three of his last four starts. I like everything about the Colorado Rockies, you know, being at home, their offensive kind of props to the over. I think they put up some crooked numbers against, against Munoz. And starting pitching-wise, they got Cal Quantrill on the hill. He's a home road splits guy where his numbers are actually better in Coors Field, a full ERA point lower in Coors Field, and he gets a Marlins offense that hasn't been all that great shakes. Colorado just, what, four games under 500. Don't like, don't love laying heavy prices with the Rockies because, let's face it, they got, what, 48 wins on the season, 48 and 83. But still, they're better at home. We like Quantro more than Munoz, so minus 140, the low water mark. That's Colorado over Miami, a mile high. Head into the desert. Up next, Arizona Diamondbacks hosting the New York Mets, 940 Eastern, 640 local time here. Game one of the series, it's Sean Manaya up against Eduardo Rodriguez in a battle of Southpaws. Minus 110, that's the D-backs as the home favorite. Eight and a hook being the total. Both teams off of an off day. It's actually easier travel for the Mets here. They just split a series against the Padres, so San Diego to uh, the Phoenix area. Not bad. Whereas Arizona, first game home off a three-city road trip. That's usually a fade spot here. Now, they have won six straight games. They swept the Red Sox and the Marlins. They started off that three-city road trip, though, getting swept by the Tampa Bay Rays. So two stops in the Sunshine State, one in the Northeast, now heading back home. 
don't like this schedule spot. They got Rodriguez on the hill. Not a lot to go off of. You know, the 31-year-old Venezuelan, just not a lot of sample size yet for this season. Four ERA, four FIP. We like Sean Manaya. Um, he's put up solid numbers, back-to-back, seven-inning starts. He also had 10 strikeouts last time seeing the Diamondbacks, which is a positive, although he, he did give up like five earned runs. So kind of a tricky one there in terms of past performance. Both of these lineups hot. Mets smash lefties. So uh, we're going to jump on the Mets here. Plus 100. Just risk 100 to win 100, listing Sean Manaya as the starter. Got one game left, guys. Uh, if you can help me out, you know, a reminder, uh, smash that like button. Uh, comment below. Helps out the algorithm. Your MLB picks, whatever is welcome, guys. Always appreciate you guys chiming in. Also, uh, premium picks. Drew Martin, experts page, wagertalk.com. It's $2 Tuesday as well. Top play discounted to just $2. We got 940 Eastern time. For the last matchup, Pacific Northwest, Tampa Bay Rays, Seattle Mariners. Logan Gilbert on the hill for the M's. Jeff Springs going for the Rays. Seven being the total, minus 145. That's the M's as the home favorite. Two teams hovering right around 500. Seattle trying to stay with Houston, although uh, I think it's going to be tough for them down the stretch. Now, they do play a whole lot better baseball at home, 12 games over 500 at home. And they got Gilbert on the hill, 27-year-old first rounder out of Stetson, 97, 98 miles per hour, 3-2 ERA and FIP. One earned run in his last 13 innings pitching at Safeco. He's been good at home. We're looking to bet on him. Up against Jeffrey Springs here, not a lot of sample size on him either. Five starts this season, just one and two, 3.1 innings, just three and a third last time out, giving up seven hits against the A's. Don't like that. Not that the Mariners' offense is all that, but... uh think they can put up enough against Springs, and Gilbert has a good start here, guys. Tampa Bay's uh, offense has been pretty quiet of late. So, hey, we're going with the home favorite on the nightcap. It's the Seattle Mariners minus 145. In recap, we got the Mets plus 100 over the Diamondbacks. Rockies minus 140 over the Fish. We get the Padres minus a dollar and a quarter over St. Louis. We're on the Jays starting it off, guys, waiting for a number, but we're going to be on the Jays over the Red Sox. So I'm Drew Martin checking out for Drew's Daily Diamond. We'll be back tomorrow. Smash that like button, comment below. Until then, cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.